there, this is Carmel Heaney. I would like to read a poem by Rainer Maria Rilke called Like a Holy Face. The poem is as follows. Only as a child am I awake and able to trust that in every fear and in every night I will behold you again. However often I get lost, however far my thinking strays, I know you will be here, right here, untouched by time. This uh, poem was given to me at a time when I was sent uh, pictures of my five-month-old great-grandniece in her mother's arms. And when I looked at that child's face, it was completely confident that everything she wanted was there. No f- fear no anxiety, no questions, no doubts. She just knew she would be taken care of. I um, would find it and do find it very difficult to practice that kind of trust The day's uh, anxieties and um, fears and uh, questions are a mountain in in face of me. And I'm not speaking of big uh, traumatic events, but simply, um, you know, the difficult phone call I have to make or will I get to that appointment, that important appointment on time? Uh, or uh, should I be making plans for this or that uh, event in the future, the holiday or the special occasion? Uh, these are all um, mountains in my mind. And yet, there is always, behind all that, a a force that is leading me on, that is guiding me, and it's always there. And I must learn to return to it. It is always here, right here in every moment. I resume reading the poem. Uh, To me, it is as if I were at once infant, boy and man. Only in this circularity is abundance found. This is the uh, sense that um, I'm at the same time living in the present, but also in the past and in the future. And all of the um, events and happenings and experiences of those times are all still here. This is the abundance of the present moment. I thank you, deep power, that works in me in ways I cannot understand. The day's labor grows simple now 
unlike a holy face held in my dark hands. Uh, when I um, connect with this power that's behind and beyond everything, everything gets simpler, including all those molehills and mountains of anxiety that were in my mind. And I'm full of thankfulness for this. Which is like a holy face, sometimes obscured by my dark hands, which are the ego, my egoic self. <laughs>